Hey everybody, welcome to another episode. So, my apologies. There's been a couple weeks I've been missing. And uh, let me kind of explain what's been going on and I think you'll understand why. So today's episode, we're gonna talk about a bunch of updates. Um, first off, I haven't had a vid video the last two weeks because I've been kind of preoccupied for all these medical reasons. So not for me, but taking care of others. Had to take my dad to the doctor um, and uh, a couple tests and things like that. He's fine, these are just some normal things that you do when, when you get to his age. At any rate, um, Joanne, first of all, I wanna say thank you to all of you that's helped out uh, Joanne uh, with her GoFundMe page. And I'm gonna put another link up here for that if you guys wanna to continue to help. She's got tens of thousands of dollars worth of medical treatments that she's got to have done over the next few months. And uh, everything you guys can do helps out a lot. She, let me explain to you what's happening to her and uh, give you updates on that and why I haven't been doing a video in the last two weeks. So Joanne has had four procedures so far. And uh, what essentially happened for those of you that haven't tuned in before, she had a botched surgery uh, that basically was putting implants in and teeth in for her. And that botched surgery that the doctor screwed everything up. Um, and all her implants penetrated her nasal cavity and her sinus cavity and caused massive infection. And it was deteriorating, eating away the bone in the upper part of her jaw here. So not only where your teeth are, think about this on yourself, where your teeth are, all that bone was deteriorating away. And then all the bone that holds your cheeks and all this kind of stuff was eating away. So she had to have emergency surgery. They had to take out all those implants that were installed improperly, repair the nasal cavity, repair the sinus cavity, put this membrane under there to separate the mouth from the nose and uh, rebuild the bone. So that was a couple procedures that she had to go through already. She's been through four so far and uh, got many more to go. But what they've done so far is they're able to rebuild the areas by her cheekbones and rebuild the area under her nasal cavity and her sinus cavity, repair all the holes in those, and then repair a layer of where the bone goes where your teeth normally are. They're gonna let all that heal and then in several months they're gonna to have to go in add a little bit more bone so she has a foundation in which to put teeth in, whether it be dentures, uh, bridge, um, implants again, we don't know yet. It's just, that's months down the road. But as I mentioned, this is costing tens of thousands of dollars to have all this repair done. And uh, there's no insurance for this, sadly. So anything you guys can do, we're asking for a little help to pay, help pay for all of these uh, procedures. She's had four so far. She's got four to six more. We're not positive how many more, uh, in addition to the teeth being installed and stuff like that once she gets to that point. So as you can imagine, I've been very busy taking care of her, nursing her back to health. She's still not ready to come on camera. Uh, there's still a lot of, I don't want to say swelling, but deformity here in her face so she looks a little different um, but the next procedure should bring all that back to where uh, she's looking back to her normal self again at any rate um, I've been busy with helping her recover and uh, playing nursemaid and I just never had time to do all the videos I was planning to do there's a whole lot of things we had in the works I put all that on a pause so we could take care of all of this so I want to appreciate everybody that has participated and helped out so far. All the warm, kind words that you've all put in your posts. She really appreciates that. She, she is reading those and responding to a few of those. So thank you very much for all your help. Again, here's the QR code if you want to go to the GoFundMe page to help Joanne pay for all of these medical bills. Um, moving on to the next thing. Um, as you all know, we're no longer in an RV. Uh, we we uh, gave that back to Grand Design. Grand Design took it back and uh, 
I want to share with you guys that while they took ours back, there are a lot of you that reached out to us and said, well, what should we do? What can we do? And all I can encourage you guys to do is reach out to Grand Design, tell them you've got a problem, tell them what you believe the problem to be. They are going to make you jump through a lot of hoops, but eventually get your rig back up to Grand Design in Indiana. They'll inspect it and try to make a repair. Now, in my case, the repairs were very poorly done. They broke right away. Hopefully that won't happen to you. So my, again, I encourage you to go to Grand Design directly. Don't worry about the dealership. The dealership's just gonna prolong the re process. They're gonna eventually get you up to Grand Design anyway. So just bypass the dealership. They can't do anything. The dealership is kind of worthless at this point. Go right to Grand Design, get it logged in, call customer service and get it registered or on a waiting list or whatever the case may be. Um, they're going to ask you to measure it or take it to a dealer to get it measured. Um, you got to go through all of that as well. Uh, but once you get it all measured, it, you'll be determined that, yeah, it is broken. And then you'll be getting it up there. So don't just listen to them and say, oh, it's not broken. If you know it's broken and you, you see all this flex in the kingpin or anything else, you've got a problem. So get it taken care of. Grand Design has made an announcement that they are now taking care of these things. They've also made the announcement that if you sell your vehicle, your RV and someone else buys it, uh, the frame has got an ex a longer warranty on it now and they are gonna take care of these issues to the set with the second owner. So that's great news. So uh, good for Grand Design for doing making that step. Now, uh, another issue that has come, I shouldn't say an issue. I put a video out some time ago and saying from the RV show in Tampa, saying that they're all junk. And here's, here's the video here so you can take a look at it and see what I'm talking about. But thousands and thousands and thousands of you have commented on it. And it's gotten to the point where you're all saying, well, I'm thinking about this RV, is it any good? Or I'm thinking about that RV, is it any good? I'm gonna reiterate something and then I've got some news. Everything that I saw at the show or that we all toured at the show with the exception of Brinkley and Alliance. Now, although I did find some things wrong with Alliance, um, but they were right on there, ready to repair it. Even when I pointed it out at a show, one of the reps were like, oh, that's really a good idea. Let me bring that to somebody to take care of it. So that was very, very positive with Alliance. So other than those two, everything we saw was junk. The DRVs, um, the high ones you all think are high ends, Riverstone. I found so many problems with those in quality, uh, the material they're using, and even their construction. So many issues, and that's why I said they're all drunk. Now that's travel trailers. With Class A's, I, re I viewed most of those, and I have saw a massive decline in quality and craftsmanship in those as well. And that's, that could be the Class A, Class B, Class C, um, even the Super C. So that's why I put that video out. They're just they're all junk in hopes that the manufacturers and you, the consumers, would stop buying this crap. They'd get a clue and they'd start building a better product. Um, that seems to be working. Uh, as I mentioned, I've received a bunch of co uh, comments on this, not only from you guys watching, but also some manufacturers defending their product. And a few have even invited me to review or look at their product. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take a couple of those invitations and I'm gonna go look at their product. I mean, we're gonna pull back the onions on that and really, really look at this and see if they are improving the quality of their builds and the materials they're doing and the fit and finish. Um, I can tell you, a lot of you have come and said, yeah, Brinkley's gonna start reducing their quality after they get in the market a little bit. And I can tell you firsthand from talking to every one of the owners, as well as the people that work there, that's not gonna happen. They're improving their quality every single day. And the components they're using and the fit and finish they're doing, they're making improvements every day to make it better and better and better. So everyone else has got a long way to go to catch up. But getting back to the uh, reviews, what I'm gonna start to do not sure how often yet. We'll see how this plays out. 
I'm going to be bringing you a review of a product. And I'm going to be honest with you. If I still think whatever brand it is is still garbage, I'm going to say it's still crap. Don't buy it. Um, in addition to that, if I see some improvements, I'll point that out. I said, hey, they're making an effort to make an improvement here. Keep your eye on this. This might be a good product. So I'll, I'll give you the straight crap about all of that. <clears throat> Additionally, I've gotten hundreds and hundreds of you asking me, what about this one? What about that one? There are so many brands out there. I just haven't had a chance to review every single brand out there. So I, I can't speak to all of those. And I'll tell you that in the comments. But the main brands that I have reviewed and everything I reviewed at the show, I still stand on my word that they're all crap. So stay tuned for those videos coming soon. I haven't even made one yet. I have to accept the invitation to go take a look at a couple of these manufacturers. Um, and they're going to be on travel trailers and drivables. So we'll see what we come up with. So that's the update. That's why I haven't had a video, all the medical reasons, things like that. In addition to, um, there's something else that I'm working on that I've actually been thinking about because I haven't had a chance to really work on anything, being so busy with all this medical stuff between my, my parents and Joanne. Um, but I'm gonna start to put some effort into it and see if there's some validity to it. But I think it's gonna be a fun little addition or a, a new direction, if you will, of my bucket list day, our little travels here around the world. So stay tuned for that. Again, as always, don't forget to hit that little like, subscribe, and ring that little bell. It lets you know that we're printing out another video. And uh, I apologize again for being gone for two weeks, but we'll get back right into it. So that's it. Thanks, and make it a great bucket list day. Bye.